All right, the beginning of another solo adventure. This is a weekly server. I've never played on this server before, so I have no blueprints and it's two days into the wipe. So it's gonna be tricky, man. It's gonna be tricky to get started, I think. It's gonna be fellas running around already geared. There hasn't been a blueprint wipe yet, I don't think. So, you know, most people will have more or less all the blueprints. But we'll see what we can do. Let's have a look at this map. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we're pretty close to outpost here. Maybe a little too close. Although building near outpost is good. I really like farming stone and trading it for wood. It's the most broken thing ever. I, I don't think I farmed a single tree last wipe. <laughs> like, not even joking. Lots of bases, like, there's gonna be lots of decayed bases, even though it's only two days in. So like, people will load in, they get raided early. So we could, ooh. Oh, tier two? Man, we could just like take this over. Well, let's go recycle some things and do some trading at the old outpost. And then I think we might as well just take that base over for now. That's pretty good, man. A tier two straight off the bat. Hopefully that's enough to be able to, you know, at least put a door and a, and a wall on this base so I can secure it. And I, I'm pretty happy with that. A free level two workbench. Nice. All right, we just get a little bit of wooden stone to upgrade this base, like to stop it from decaying. And then we'll go out for a room. Check out the neighborhood. Ooh, hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? You just let me out? <laughs> oh, dude. I just took your shit, bro. Alright. Get rid of this sleeping bag.
No way. Where's the double barrel? I gotta come back. <laughs> what? Don't tell me that just despawned. Jesus. Dude, man, <laughs> this dude. Oh no, this did exactly what he did. <laughs> I don't know if I can get out of here, man. I just tried to like, I don't know if he tried to jump off his base or if he just fell into his own like wooden barricades. What? When did that happen? No way, dude. No way. Oh my god, dude. God, dude. the wall. Oh no, he stained it. Thanks, boys. <laughs> oh, he opened the gate. What an idiot. Why did he open the gate, man? Oh, shit. I'm going straight back. I'm going straight back. Oh, imagine if they didn't, if they didn't seal it up straight away. That would be absolutely classic. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, I absolutely robbed those guys. <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit bad. I feel a little bit bad about it. But mainly, I think it's pretty funny. So yeah, I'd pretty much rob these guys of a bunch of resources and some nice starter items like tools and lower tier weapons. But there was also a semi-auto rifle in one of the crates, so it was definitely worth the time and effort it took to pickaxe my way out. But between that and looting their large furnaces earlier, I thought it was time to give these lads a bit of a rest and move on to explore the area a bit more. Soon after, however, there were some dudes hanging around outside my base for longer than usual, so I thought it'd be smart to repair the walls and put down some sheet metal doors.
Oh yeah. I wonder if I can whack on <laughs> in their face, whack on a, a door and a key lock. Like right in their face. I reckon I can. See you later. <laughs> it's those guys. It was the guys from the compound that I'd gone deep on earlier. As you can see, it hadn't taken them long to find my base. But at this stage, I wasn't too worried about them hanging about. So I finished upgrading my base and jumped off for a bit to go and buy some coffee. It was less than an hour later when I logged back in. No way, they actually raided it. <laughs> no way. I was off for like an hour. Man, lucky I put that last door on. I'm so surprised. I mean, I thought they might have. I thought they might have, but to be honest, I didn't expect it. <laughs> that was like the shortest period of time that I've ever been raided. Like, ever. I'm surprised they didn't grief me, man. Very surprised. Oh my god. What? He died too. <laughs> Pleb King. Get a pumpy man. He had rounds in his pumpy. Wow. He <laughs> he's not gonna be happy. Raided. They raided into this room with the TC and they didn't realize this door did not have a lock on it. What? Oh, uh, that is so lucky, man. No way. That is actually so lucky. Oh, man. What? Dude. Come on.
In classic Harvey's fashion, I had hung around for a little bit too long and got myself caught in a sticky situation. Oh no. Oh fucking hell, that's a good ass shot, dude. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good shot. Damn. I didn't realize I had that much sulfur on me, to be honest. Oh, that's a dub for that, dude. Oh, that's a dub for that, dude. Oh my god. Nah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, dude. Damn, how's he not down? Nah, I get a depot. I can't. I'm, I got it for win then. I could chase him, but oh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Fuck yeah. Quick, drop it all. Go, go, go. Oh, imagine if he stood up. Dude. Oh, he stood up. Oh, he fucking stood up, dude. No. He stood up. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, that's a pretty good little run. That's a pretty good little run. It was a handy little PvP run that I'd had. On a few separate occasions, I had left my base with primitive gear and returned to my base with pumpies and sars. At this stage of the wipe, I'm not sure that I had even learnt to craft a med syringe yet, so I continued running primitive gear for the time being.
Oh my god, dude, what? God, dude, what? <laughs> what is happening? What is actually happening? Man, we are freaking absolutely rolling right now. I think I might need to upgrade my base. Yep, that's a saw. After that, I wanted to go back and check out the base with the exposed loot boxes on their top level. If I could catch these guys when they were away from the base, it'd give me a chance to spear raid the soft side of the stone wall through the window. It seemed, however, that I wasn't the only one with that idea. Oh shit, they got raided? Exactly what I was trying to do before. Get him. Get out of the way, naked. There's gotta be a way to get out. Cause I would've just got that MP5 and dipped. <laughs> oh man, it's absolute chaos.
Fuck me, dude. Oh my god. Uh, I should have just run every time. I should just run. What are you doing? Like, I, I just gotta learn. I gotta learn. You gotta take profit. <laughs> you just gotta take it. Just get the hell out of there. Ah, I'd missed my opportunity and the raid had been sealed. I'm not sure if I'll ever learn, man. But there were still some geared guys hanging around the raid. So I went back with Asar to try and get away with some kits. Oh, what? I started reloading because I thought I killed him. Let's get out with that. Let's get out with that. In this double barrel. Alright, so I lost a Thompson. And a Pumpy. But I gained some stuff too. It was a really fun fight, and I'd more or less come out even, but I'd run back so many times, so quickly, that it seemed the owners of the base had taken note of my name and worked out that I must live close by. And it wasn't long after that, that I started getting door camped. Oh, there's people outside. Holy. <laughs> Fuckers. the fuck <sighs> yeah this was getting old but I figured that while they were camping my base, I'd check out what was happening at theirs. And I'd soon find out that similar to me and learning to dip when I'm in profit, the skill of learning wasn't necessarily in this clan's repertoire. Am I going to move or am I going to honeycomb? That is the question. I think I might move. Like, I don't really like this area, to be honest. Like, those guys are going to raid me. Probably, probably now. Probably right now. <laughs> so if I can quickly find a place that I want to move to, 
then we'll do that ASAP. But these guys didn't give me a chance. They were hanging around like a bad smell. So I thought I'd be cheeky and play a little prank on them. To a seasoned Rust player, this trap is pretty obvious, but I had the feeling it might work on these guys. The way my airlock was orientated meant the double door when opened would act as a blockade to the single doorway. So if I let them enter into my airlock on purpose, I might get the chance to block them in. And yeah, they fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. So once I'd transferred the loot and the TC from the front half of my base, the trap was set. So I'm just gonna shut that door and then I'll just leave him for like, ever. <laughs> like actually forever. Fellas better get comfortable. What I could do actually is just get like, oh, can I get a grenade? <laughs> Let's go get a grenade, dude. Little grenade man. Thank you. Alright. We got some door campers to kill. <laughs> oh man oh man that was quality <laughs> safe to say these guys weren't happy i'm not joking when i say that within 60 seconds of tossing that frag grenade they were back to raid me Uh oh, I'm getting raided. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Do I have a hammer? It's happening fast. I got no wood, man. I need wood.
shit, dude. <laughs> no way, dude. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so much stone, dude. Uh, you would have thought they would have learned. Man, maybe their base is just that loaded that stone means nothing to them. That was really loud, so I thought I'd wait out the night to avoid being snuck up on by opportunistic third party raiders. After that I scoped out the base a bit more and didn't waste any time getting on with the raid. Shit. Um, how can you do this? Not like that. Not like that. It's a well placed shotgun trap, dude. Hello, boys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. So much in this base, man. Yeah, I think that'll do. That's a lot of juice. That's a lot of juice. After that, I ran all the best loot back to my little 2x2 base. 
This was a seriously fun one, and goes to show that you don't always need a big ass base to cause some trouble on the streets of Rust. And to be honest, I hadn't been on this server long at all, but got to experience the thrills of a cheeky Ioka play, the stress of an online raid defense, and the satisfaction of some swift and stealthy solo revenge raiding. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Take it easy guys. I'll see you soon.